Alright guys, welcome back to Oknit. Woo. I think we're nearing the end. I think. I have no idea. We need to do... Yeah. Oh no. It's a puzzle. I hate puzzles. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did I do right? I have no idea. The creature pulled on. How am I supposed to know if I did right? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I can't know this. Why are you being evil? Maybe. Wait. I'm dumb. Probably need to activate the fire rune actually. As the pair silently beheld the totem, a warm energy began to spread from the boulders surrounding it. The radiant light quickly engulfed the clearing, amplified by the Vitorm's magical skin. Nice. Hey, shadow being. Are you a gonna... shadowy figure. Are you gonna... Mesmerizing totem. The creature felt its body weaken as it moved closer to the totem. Why? I think we should be careful of looking at this thing for too long. The creature mumbled, noticing that the Alva seemed almost entranced by the magical glow. Yeah. As the totem... Why is it following us? The creature whispered while the Alva kept her eyes pe I have no idea. Let's just go here and try to do this one again. Because I've forgotten how I did it. The creature I just can't... I don't... Ugh, I hate this game sometimes. As the shadowy being didn't seem to mind, the creature and Alva decided to borrow the pages and stone fragment hanging from its waist, hoping to find some sort of clue regarding the strange place they currently found themselves in. However, as they had a closer look, neither of them were able to make out the words scribbled on the torn pages. Yeah, because they, yeah, okay. Fine. Anyways, this is how we're supposed to do it, apparently, because, you know, I'm dumb. After placing the stone fragment, the creature quickly backed away in response to a loud crackling noise emanating from the statue, lasting but a moment before leaving room for the silence to reinstill itself in the clearing. Nice. Let's use the fire rune, then. Yes! Finally. And now I need to figure out this, because I did it all the times before, but once it's actually required of me, I can't remember for the love of God how I did it. I probably need to lubricate it, that's why. So I should do it right. I'm so stupid sometimes. They should get things moving. Yep. Unfortunately, I need to redo this again, because I'm dumb. Oh, something stupid. That should be something to That's the least I can go for. I feel that's wrong. Ah, so this one's supposed to be two of them. That must be. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be so hard. Oh, God. So, this one's good. That's supposed to be third, this is supposed to be first. So, we're supposed to be the second. So, there. This is supposed to be. I know what I am. That must be. So, we need three. We need three. So the only thing that's wrong is this one that should be like three of them. Let's try. I have no idea. Yes? Yes! <laughs> I 
Oh dear. A cutscene. Shit's going down. Okay. As the odd pair had moved further into the darkness beyond the copper gate, before the small creature's eyes had adjusted to the shadows, the Alva had suddenly been grabbed from its shoulder. Well, that's not A nice. A gigantic shape had picked up the helpless Alva and placed her inside a glass sphere strung up from the ceiling. Three beings slowly emerged from the darkness, who didn't seem at all interested in the small creature standing before them, and appeared to be squabbling with one another. Look at it! Look at it! The fat-nosed troll chanted, enthusiastically pointing at the Alva with one of his chubby fingers. It looks so yummy! Let me chew it a bit and I'll let you two know what it tastes like! The fat-nosed troll made a guttural sound, spouting and drooling saliva as he mustered all his strength in an effort to grab the Alva. But the slim-nosed troll quickly gripped the glass sphere with his long, nimble fingers, keeping it out of the fat-nosed troll's reach. The shiny one is doing fine right here in my ball. I found it. It's mine. Swallowing my shinies will be the last thing you do before I got you like a little fishy. What? Bugger Kangan bellowed, immediately bringing the argument to a halt. I'm thinking. He then continued, letting out a troubled sigh. Irritated by being interrupted, the slim-nosed troll quickly retorted. Thinking. That's all you do. We have been sitting here for so long. I don't even know why we came to this place. I say we leave and take the shinies with us. Burger Kungan slowly turned his head towards the slim-nosed troll, giving him a dreadful glare. <laughs> the slim-nosed troll responded with his nose slim-nosed troll responded. With his no slim nose troll responded. Okay, I hope you read that because the game hiccuped. But excuse me, that's not how you pronounce that name. Badia Kungen, not Burger Kungen, or something like that. I gave him a giggle. Um, I'm gonna try to continue this in this part. Or, uh, like, I'm gonna try to finish this game in one part, but if not, then it's going to be two parts, perhaps. Oh dear. You dummy! Of course you'd go and break it! The fat-nosed troll exclaimed. Don't raise your voice to me, you moronic glutton! I found it! I'll break it if I want to! The slim-nosed troll grunted. Enough! Burger Kungan roared. What's done is done. We all get one piece each of this trivial ball. End of discussion. There are more important things to attend to. I should have thought twice before bringing you two along on this expedition. The slim-nosed troll mumbled something inaudible in response, bringing the conflict to an end. Okay. Where did you go? Search for the power hidden beyond the copper... something. Ugh, oh. oh, don't the tell me I'm gonna... nosed troll had spat a gruesome mass onto the cave floor. Don't tell me I'm gonna pick that up. I don't think I even have something to pick it up with. Ladder straps. Well, I'm gonna take those. Out of curiosity, the creature picked up the strap to have a look at it, recognizing the fine condition of the leather. It decided to keep it. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to end this. I don't know how long or how much it's going to be in the next part, but if it's really short, then perhaps I'll combine it. I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.